Okay, argument on the complex plane. The argument is the angle of theta in pi form. So let's have a look at the expressions for argument of z. So that's how we write it and we can also replace it with z equals x plus yi. So I'll put that in there and we can actually sketch this x plus y. So we can put it on a dot here on the number plane or a complex plane. And you can see that it's going to be to find a theta, we'll use 10 in you because that's the right angle there. So that's pretty much a soccer plot. And also with this, you can write it into in, form, in terms of y equals something. Okay, just I'll put that in there just in case you need it. And of course, theta equals inverse 10 of y over x. Okay, so if you didn't know that, please memorize it. And let's have a look. So to sketch argument on the number. Uh, complex plane. First, you need to know find the starting point. If I push this one up, you'll see much better. Yes. Okay. Um, what is going on here is what we are saying is um, you have to find the uh, starting point with some people call it a seed, and I'm one of them. And uh, seed is the um, only happens like a use it for an argument you don't use for modulus and because um, any starting point for example origin or anything the starting point in an argument has no magnitude because no angle no size because it's, it could be zero degrees and 360 okay so we don't include the starting point in the equation like this so we'll leave it as open circle another thing we need to know is the um, to remember that any argument, the theta, starts from the x-axis and moves in anti-clockwise unless it's negative. Then it will be the clockwise. Okay? It looks like something like this. So remember that. So next one. Oops. Getting a little bit too many pages all at once. Okay. So what does it look like if we actually sketch on the uh, number? complex number plane. So if I do this, argument z equals pi over 4, which is 45 degrees. And that means, remember, z is what? Um, it's got a zero, uh, real number, zero imaginary after that. So the seed, the starting point, is at zero, zero origin. And it goes from, remember, x-axis to clock anti-clockwise, going this way, so it's a pi over 4. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Second one will look like this. So this time we got, it's a real part is three, but we got zero imaginary. So the seed starting point is three, zero. So my seed's here. And of course, still same, x-axis, starting from there, pi over three, which is 60 degrees. So in a sort of meter, your final diagram will look like this. And uh, another one will be like this. Now, this one, we got zero real, right? Zero real, and then the imaginary three. So your seeds is a zero three. It starts from here. And it's the negative pi, so it'll be clockwise. So I would actually um, draw a straight line there. So it's like a pretend x-axis, it's starting point, okay? And then it's gone down to negative 30 degrees, which is minus pi over 6. As you can see, because it's a parallel lines, that is my pi, minus pi over 6. So your final diagram will look like this. Okay, so it wasn't too bad. It seems okay, yeah? All right, next one. Okay, it, it looks normal, like what we've been doing. But the problem is we can't find the um, seed here because it, seed to find the seed we need to write it in the form of z minus something. So I'll just rewrite this and then my seeds at 0 and minus 3. Okay, so if I do that I'll start from here and again I dot it lined parallel to the x-axis because that's my starting point there and then it goes up from here because it starts from the pretended x-axis 
pi over 6, which is 30 degrees, and that's, of course, if you parallel, it's corresponding angles. So your final diagram will look like this. Okay, well, now we've done the, some basics. Let's do some examples, yeah? So, we've got three examples in the, um, three parts, actually, in example three. Sketch the graph of each equation. So that's what it means, okay? Sometimes your question might be slightly different, saying sketch the locus of Z, satisfying whatever the condition is. All right, there's the three parts. The first part looks pretty decent, like what we've been doing. So not, not a problem. It shouldn't be any problem for you. So Z by itself is, what is it? C it is at zero, zero. And it's going up by pi over three, which is 60 degrees. Now remember here, little note, the complex number Z is the vector from origin at an angle of pi over three for this part. And of course, vector has a magnitude and direction. Okay. Part B. Okay, this is something uh, we've done from the, the basic examples. Now, it's not in the form of minus something, so we need to change that. So I'll rewrite this and analyze this before I sketch it. So my seed starting point is at 0 and minus 1. And this is in a second quadrant, isn't it? If it was less than uh, 2 pi over 4, it would be the first quadrant. But it's more than that, so it would be second quadrant. So be careful with that one. So what happened here is my starting point was 0 minus 1. And I draw the little dot line, the parallel to the x-axis. And then go from here to... 3 pi over 4, remember, you always start from x-axis here and anti-clockwise if it's a positive angle. And then my final neat sketch will be this. And C is something like this, okay? So here, my C starting point is 1 and 1. And look, it's uh, clockwise going to be minus 30 degrees which is minus pi over 6 so I'm going to start 1 and 1 that's my C my starting point and I, again it's really handy to sketch the parallel lines to the x-axis and that and then go down by minus pi over 6 that's the same as that so your final sketch will look like this okay example 4 okay now this is going to be a little bit difficult, so if you need to, please um, listen to and uh, watch this video more than once. Now example four, sketch the graph of each equation. Now this looks a little bit different to what we've been doing, but don't panic, it's not too bad. Yes, it's not too bad. So because it's an argument, we will have a seed because, you know, the starting point. So that would be three and one, and that would be what, one and three. And... I want you to think about this. We can also rewrite this. It's something equals something. So we can write it, some, the first one take away the other side equals zero. We can rewrite this one. The arguments are equal, okay? Because this argument, that argument equals that. So that's they're equal. And the vectors must be running in the same direction because they're same, okay? And that's why when they take away, they got zero because they're the same. So, first thing first, no problem because a seed at um, 3, 1, 3, 1, and seed at 1, 3, 1, 3. And of course, we don't count seed, the starting point, because they, if I sketch like that, they've got no magnitude. So they've got zero. So it's open circle. Now, you need to check. Okay, you need to check. I just made a simple this into here. So something argument of the first one and the argument of second one, we have to, difference has to be zero. We have to have this condition satisfied, okay? So what I've done is this line, flatten it, just so that we can, you know, see a little bit better and easy to understand. So let's push it up a little. I've just done that. And what I've done was I'm just, checking the points so push up a little so what i've done here 
is I flatten off the uh, line, okay, the locus, and then I'm checking the each area, one, two, three, and I'll put the uh, points there, point Z1, point Z2, point Z3. And imagine that that's the pretend x-axis, okay? Now, let's check, checking the argument, okay? So from the, um, I'm checking the point Z1 here, from 3, 1, and from 1, 3. So what will happen? So I'm just looking at here. Now, to get to Z1, to have Z1 from 3, 1, there's nothing, no, no uh, angle happen, okay? Because it, it starts from x-axis, and that's my right-hand side, so it's at my starting point, so it's a zero. Same thing with the uh, from 1, 3. It's on the it's right-hand side of 1, 3, so the angle is, argument is zero. Okay, so they're on the same direction. Okay, so what happened is, that's just zero and zero. And... Point two is in the middle. Now, from three one to get to the point two, the middle on the left hand side of three one, you have to go to the right to the left, hundred eighty degrees pi degrees. Yeah. So that's move the pi. But from one three to go to the z one, it's on the right hand side of uh, one three which hasn't really moved any angle at all. So it'll be zero, yeah? Just remember that. And for, from um, point Z to three, it's on the uh, left-hand side of both of the uh, seeds, isn't it? So to get to the left-hand side from three, one, it's moved to pi, okay? And then again, one, three to go to the left of the one, three, move to pi. And they're both the same. From here, you can tell, obviously, already, that Z1 and Z3 has the same direction. Like I told you about, the vectors have the same directions. So only one is the uh, opposite is the Z2. So if I sort of take this one off. So here, for Z1, it's on the right-hand side of 3, 1 and 1, 3. So they're in both same direction and it's both it's zero. So it's a, when you take them away, it's zero. And the point two, Z2 is on the left of 3, 1, but it's on the right side of 1, 3. So for 3, 1, it's moved to pi to get to Z2. But from 1, 3, it didn't have to move anything because it's on still on the left. So it'll be taking uh, argument 3, 1, take away argument 1, 3, you will get pi minus 0 equals pi. And the third one from point Z3, now Z3 is on the left-hand side of 1, 3 and 3, 1. Okay, so to get to the left-hand side from the x-axis from here on their right, they both have to go to pi degrees, 100, 180 degrees, which is gives them a, a pi take away, pi equals zero. So to satisfy this condition that we were given from the question, only the z1 and z3 satisfy, which is the area, this first area and the third area, okay, is satisfied. The middle one doesn't satisfy because it's zero, it's pi. So which, what does that mean to us is this. It means all the points on this side, which was the Z1 point here, and that was Z2, Z3. For Z3, these are the ones that satisfy this equation. So I can say that. That um, sort of sums up to what I was talking about. Okay? So that's what it's opposite. I already actually told you about that one. Okay, so let's have a look at the part B. So we got these now. Um, the first argument is the seed at 3, 1. Second one is seed at 1, 3. And the, the difference of the both of them equals plus minus p. 
pi. So if I actually sketch this one, I'll get from previous questions a similar, but we need to check this. Okay. Now remember, Z1 is here, Z2 here, Z3. Now I'm flattening this one up so we can easily see it. Now two, it's Z1 is on the right hand side of 3, 1 and 1, 3. So if it's on the right hand side, that's actually starting point X axis. So it's going to be zero when you take it away. And it's a Z2 is in the middle, but it's in the right hand side of Z, uh, 3, 1, but it's on the, um, sorry, the other way around. Um, it's on the left hand side of 3, 1, but it's on the right hand side of 1, 3. So for, from 3, 1 to get to Z2, this point, we have to travel pi degrees, like 180 degrees. But for, from 1, 3, we didn't have to travel at all, it's just zero. So it'd be pi minus zero equals pi. Now, if it's a Z3, it's on the uh, left hand side of 3, 1, and also 1, 3. So to get to this, I need to travel 180 degrees, and also from here, 180 degrees. So the difference of that is zero. Now, which one is a satisfying? We need to get pi, only pi, you're gonna get is the middle section okay so my final graph will look like this okay don't forget it's open circle all right next one um, again you have to get pi over 2 so let's have a look at the SC and I've got here so it will be 3 0 and minus 3 0 so it's all on there now with those two differences, we have to create pi over 2, which is 90 degrees, positive nine, uh, pi over 2. To do that, anything, it'll, it has to make 90 degrees wherever you do. And by condition of uh, circle geometry, um, that it's going to be all the way to making a circle. Well, semicircle, because only the pi over 2, it's not plus minus pi over 2. So that will give us this final graph.